Hey guys, we are live at five. Live at five. I'm Paul Wontora. I'm Matt Roden. This is Broadway.com. This is it. This is in where the, it all in happens. The heart of Times Square. <laughs> in the heart of Times Square, you can't tell. But we're we here. Are. Here we are. Uh, and O M G, one of my favorite Broadway leading ladies, is here today. This I also love that we call her like a Broadway, Broadway leading lady. I love that like that is part yeah, of her title because now. she has proven herself above and beyond. And uh, the Abanye of On Your Feet. Get we on love. your feet. First of all, gorgeous, it's all good. All it's all things. good. Uh, she always looks amazing. Uh, so we're thrilled she's here. Yeah, but so we have a little bit of news to talk about first. And I Anything will kick, exciting? I will kick it off with the big... This news was so big that Matt and I already went live this morning to just sort of gush about it and just to sort of like live in the moment. And like, you know, sometimes stuff is something is so big that you just have to like... Just soak in it and like not And just, this was one of those things? Yes, you, know, you can't just let these moments just fly by because Manny Patinkin does not get announced for Broadway very often. And, so, and today was one of those days? Today is one of those days. Mandy Patinkin is joining the cast of Natasha, Pierre, and The Great Comet of 1812, a.k.a. The Great Comet. Uh, he will be playing Pierre. Pierre. Uh, replacing Akiriate Anaduan. <laughs> High five for knowing how to say that. Oak uh, of Hamilton fame. Oak, so Oak, here's what's happening. Oak is leaving. He's in the show now. He's leaving a few weeks early. Mandy Patinkin will come in on August. So Oak will leave on August 13th. Mm -hmm. Mandy Patinkin, Tony winner Mandy Patinkin of Evita fame. Evita. Che himself, <laughs> who's also, of course, George in Sling the Park with George, Burrs in the Wild Party. I'm sorry, I'm freaking out. He was an amazing falsettos replacement. I'm just All putting it out there. I'm losing my mind. Mandy Patinkin will start on August 15th for a three-week run. This is very abbreviated. If you want to see Mandy Patinkin on Broadway, you better get, get there. Get your tickets. Through September 3rd. The last time he played a character on Broadway, I mean, obviously, in his Mandy Patty concert, he played 94 characters. That was like five but years ago. an actual one character was a, what, The Wild Party, and a, a fantastic production in 2000. So it's been 17 years <laughs> since we've seen Mandy actually play you know, a full character in a Broadway musical. Just and like Matt Roden has never seen him on stage. Never. It's just like dreams And now it's his true. big moment. This is my moment. Although Millennials like everywhere can see Mandy Patinkin <laughs> finally, and, and like not just on Homeland, but in the flesh. I'm just worried that these tickets are going to fly. People this morning when we were streaming were like, I'm buying tickets right now. I think it's sold out. I just made that up. But I'm sure... <laughs> it is going to sell. Try to get sell. in. It's at the Imperial Theater. It's fantastic. Uh, with or without Mandy Patinkin, and um, Akiri Teonadawan is also fantastic in the role, yes. and he's playing it through the 13th. Yep. So just go see the show, and you're going to see someone great. Um, today we learned that Elsie Fest, which is this Broadway music festival that was started by Darren Chris, is coming back. Um, so they're going to be playing the Central Park Summer Stage on October 8th. Tickets are not even in pre-sale yet. So there's we don't know. There's a fly. There's a fly in here. <laughs> uh, we don't know much about it yet. So so this is the third year of Elsie Fest. Third year. And they just they sort of announced it with a video, right? Yeah. So Darren um, recorded this like really. Um, Darren Chris. Yeah, really like acoustic-y, that's not acoustic a... acoustic is a great word. That's not word. an adjective, but... Don't we love that word, acoustic -y. It was, it was, um, it's, it's very... Hashtag acoustic -y. <laughs> <laughs> This, uh, it's a recording of a, a cover of I Dreamed a Dream. It's a, it's a guitar, like, stripped-down cover of I Dreamed a Dream. I think it's an acoustic version acoustic of it. acoustic version. You don't have to say why, just say acoustic. It's an it's acoustic fine. version of it's I beautiful. Dreamed a Dream. It is, it is beautiful. He is Fontaine. Darren Chris is Fontaine. It is Fontaine. But LC Fest is, it's so, it was so, it's so much fun. Like... Last year they did it at Coney Island, but yes. I'm happy that it's going to be in the city this summer because mm -hmm. it'll be more convenient for everybody. But Lots we don't know of, much about what the structure of it will be. Whether no it'll be, I don't know if it's going to be a full day at Summer Stage. No uh, summer Stage is obviously in Central Park. It's a stage that's used throughout the summer, with, which leads to the name Summer Stage. <laughs> they do concerts there in the summer. Yes, it's a they stage do. with concerts. Uh, but we don't know who's performing. We no, don't know yeah, anything about it. But it's in October, which is also later than normal. Yeah. Uh, but we're excited. Yeah, I'm so very glad it's coming back. Bravo to Darren Chris because it's a really an awesome concert. He does a really good job of inviting the right people, it's a lot setting of work the right too. vibe. It's a hell of a lot of work. And uh, bravo for keeping it going. We yeah, love it. Really excited. What else? What else? John Doyle, not Matt Doyle, is directing <laughs> as you like it. Uh, at so it's happening at Sag Harbor. At what's it, it was called? Well, the no, Bay yeah, Street. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was at Bay Street in Sag Harbor. Yeah, and they're doing it now with Ellen Burstyn. Uh, but now they've announced that the cast that's doing it there. It's a Shakespeare play. I don't know if you've heard of it, uh, but they're playing their own instruments because it's a John Doyle. John production, Doyle, duh. And that's classic John Doyle. 
John Doyle 101. Hashtag John Doyle 101. Like he did with he did Sweeney, Sweeney Todd. Right, yeah, the yes. Sweeney revival. And, and he loves to end company, and he loves to make people play their own instruments. Uh, so but Ellen Burstyn's doing it, which is crazy, because she's like an acting icon. Uh, Hannah Cabal, uh, Andre DeShields, a uh, big black man. Full Monty cast album. Listen to it. The after Wiz? this, it's, wasn't he the original? Wasn't of he the course, original he was the Wiz? Wizard and okay. the Wiz. See, it's, I know. I have a little bit of deep. I have some deep cuts. It's legendary. I'm cuts. so proud you knew that. <laughs> uh, it's a jazz era and uh, score and jazz era inspired score by Stephen Schwartz, who wrote a little show called Wicked. Pippin. I was, I was gonna say I was gonna whip out like Pippin or like. <laughs> Just Prince of Egypt, like so something anyway, you know, like deep they're cuts. doing it out in Long Island, and then they're coming to the Off Broadway uh, at Classic Stage Company this fall. Very exciting. Last but certainly not least, the uh, the bandstand. Oh, oh, we love the bandstand. Celebrated but it's one. actually just bandstand. Bandstand. Let's not confuse people. Sorry, not the bandstand, but they celebrated a hundred performances at today's matinee. So very exciting. Hundred congrats, performances. congrats, kids. Yeah, yeah that's very, very fun. And to celebrate their hundredth performance, they are releasing the cast album. On well now that I guess you we can listen say, to it for free. Yeah, it's free on SoundCloud. It's free. You can listen to it for from July 26, which is today, yes, to August 2nd. Um, celebrate the 100 performance. But you can also purchase the recording on iTunes and also from Broadway Records. What's your favorite song? On My here? favorite song. Don't you dare say mine. Track 15. Don't say it. What, what is it? Nobody. It, I, well, no, it's right this way. Like oh, I'm like sorry, that's the Act One closer. Is this? I mean, this. And I like the Act Two opener. Opener, but like even Lynn tweeted about this that like this Act One closer is so epic. Corey you're, are you saying so that good? if Lynn Manuel Miranda proclaims something, it is? Yes. Okay. <laughs> yes, I am. Okay. All right. But, but no, it really is my favorite song in the show. It's I, a beautiful show. I just yeah. And it's doing great. It's so good. It's so so good. And if yeah. you haven't listened to the album because you haven't bought it yet, because I don't think it's on like Spotify or anything like that. It's not. It's not. So if you haven't listened to it, go listen to it on SoundCloud and then go buy it. And go see the show. And go see the show if you live in New York or go if you're coming show. to visit. It's so good. But that's um. That's the end of the news. That's the summer news. It's that nice and light today. Summer news, light, breezy. I'm really excited about Ada Villafane, and I'm sad I can't stay sitting here and get out of here. She's table. all mine. Okay. We're gonna take a break. We'll be right back with Anna Villafane on your feet. When you came to uh, film the show, people, you brought your dog. I, I sure did. Yeah, you're beautiful. I sure did. Yeah, how does that look like? He's great. He's yeah. uh, getting neutered on Monday. Ah, big news. <laughs> how exciting. Yeah. Oh, my Pray God. Pray for Ollie. <laughs> how is the Broadway life? 
The Broadway life is doing? great. I have my third Emilio, so I'm doing pretty well. You have, it's, yeah, you have a, another hot Emilio. So you, this my is life your, is very hard. Yeah, your gig is that every once in a while they put in a new like very. It's like it's man, like so. it's like a Mercedes Benz. You know, every so often there's a new model and <laughs> and you. So now we're dealing with uh, uh, Mauricio, Mauricio Martinez, Martinez of Mexico. Of Mexico. Mexico. Yes, he's uh, very Mexican, which I love because I mean, who doesn't love? Tacos and everything Mexican. I just had tacos for lunch, so you're right. Who doesn't? See? Who doesn't like that? You're so on brand. You so, knew I was coming, um, so you had tacos. Well, I knew I was going to see you, so I figured I would get ready. Uh, margaritas and tacos. <laughs> and guac. Um, uh, what? Guacamole. A little guac, a little guac, some Good. queso. Nice. Some Mexican nice. standards. Perfect. Uh, so how's it going with him? It's going so, great. So he's going to do the tour. Yes. He came in to to, to he came um, in to like just spend, be, spend some time with to, Anna, to who created the role of Gloria. Estefan. I yeah. did, I did, uh, it's, which is still crazy to say. I mean, I still pinch myself walking out and seeing um, my face in that huge breezeway and all of that. And huge. It's, it's insane. How big is your face in that breezeway? I don't know, but it's giving a lot me of, some insecurity. Because <laughs> yeah. I'm like, ooh. Yeah, yeah. it's, it's no, kind of crazy. Are it's you going to, now when the show ends, are you going to peel it off the <laughs> and breezeway and put it, and put it in hats. your apartment, <laughs> in your living room, or is that the plan? Um, I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think so. I'll auction it off. <laughs> I, if I were going to peel off part of that breezeway, I would peel off that adorable boy. Eddie. What's his name? Eddie. Eddie. The adorable yes. boy. Yes, my original son. <laughs> Who is so cute. He is the most adorable. Yeah, that's thing what I would be peeling off. No yes. offense. No, I would be I, peeling that same, off. Same, 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 <laughs> same. Nobody needs to see me that big. Like, nobody. <laughs> so, you've been doing the show now for how long? I got the job three years ago in September. And then we did our out of town. Yeah, so we did our out of town in Chicago, and we've been on Broadway for, we just celebrated actually a week ago, was our 700th show. Seven? Uh, hundred. Yeah, or a week ago or two weeks. Either way, yeah, 700 shows. I, and I'm just and here like, how? How? I'm not sure how, how? I'm still how? here. <laughs> how are you still doing it? And it, you are fantastic in the role. Thank you. And I really want to uh, give props to, I love that you've had such a nice long run yes. on Broadway. And you've really been like the anchor of that show. Thank and you. And you've talked about it. You're the third, you know, you have your third Emilio now. I do. And I love that. I love that we've sort of, and we didn't know, I didn't know who you were. Yeah. Three years ago. Me I didn't either. know this lady. And now I adore you, oh, and I can't wait to see like what's next and, ah, and yes. what else comes up. Yes. And I, I just love that you've sort of stuck with the show, and you've really sort of you've been the anchor. And how, how does was that important to you? You know, there's a lot of talk nowadays about uh, you know actors staying with shows and performing. And uh, how do, what does all that mean to you? Was it important for you to have like a Broadway experience where you really sort of like dug into something? Well, I think I, I didn't plan it this way. To be honest with you, mm -hmm. it was all just a really big, happy, beautiful accident. And um, going into it, I just was like, all right, I'm going to give this everything. I'm going to honor her. I'm going to tell this story, which means so much to so many people. We're the biggest Latin cast ever to be on Broadway. I know. Um, yeah. And so that's a huge, that gives me a huge sense of pride. And I'm very grateful, which I think gives me the energy to keep on doing it. Yeah. Um, but there was a point where, you know, offers start coming in and, and different mm -hmm. projects and TV things and certain, certain just other things outside of On Your Feet, and, and I just said to myself, I'm not going to go do something else until it's equal or more important to me. Like, mm -hmm. I wake up every day and I'm excited to go to work. And that's crazy, and mm -hmm. especially after doing the same thing over and over and over, literally doing the same thing, saying the same words, you know, making the same jokes and all right. whatnot. And I lost my voice and I came back and all these things, and, and it, it, um, it means something to me. So I didn't want to move on and do something else until it meant the same. I guess, because I don't think that I'll do well. I like to excel at what I'm doing. I don't want to do something mediocre. And if my heart's not in it, then then I'm not going to excel. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what is the camaraderie like with the company? And I know you, you so I'm sure there's a lot of original cast members still there, and there's yes. a lot of new people. And there's probably the national tour will be launching with yes, Mauricio. Exactly. And I'm sure some of those people will be going on tour, maybe. Yes, there and are a lot of people from the from uh -huh. the company who are going on tour. Mostly a lot of new people or swings who, you know, our dance captain is going on tour and she's gonna be on stage the whole time because because there's that that love of being on stage and yeah. of actually performing. And so um, so yeah, so I'm excited for them, and it and it, it really is a passing of the baton kind uh -huh. of thing, and and it's a story that our country needs right now. So for me, I'm just like I did my job. I feel like I can wash my hands and say I really did my job, which was to come here, tell this story, make people fall in love with not only our show but with what it stands for, and with Gloria and Emilio all over again. Not that the world already wasn't, but yeah. in a different language, if you will, mm -hmm. in the Broadway language. And now it's gonna go. 
across the country saying this is what an American looks like and we're gonna give that much more opportunities to more Latin people yeah. who are doing musical theater and who are waiting for another West Side Story or another In the Heights production or another yeah. Evita. And like, it's like there are more, now, now we, our show is added to that list of opportunities for all the little kids, you know, who who look up at us and with those eyes. Like today, they were there were a bunch of students. You just um, did the matinee. Yeah, she looks. Ma the matinee. Let me just be clear. <laughs> she looks this fabulous and glamorous after having just done the matinee. This is a two day day on Broadway. I wiped off my tears. She came here between shows and she's going to go back and do stick. tonight's show. Yes, that's incredible. I love that's that. That's what about we do you. here on Broadway, isn't it? But so other than uh, there being fantastic food backstage, what does it mean yes. to be? What is it like to be in an all Latino company? God, um, I think there's just an understanding. There's a mutual understanding. And it's one of those that, like, you know, when someone brings their mom for the first time, like, you feel that energy. One of our newest dancers, Michelle, um, she just had her family fly in from Puerto Rico and watch her on Broadway for the first time. And, like, we all get it because mm. not a lot of people from Puerto Rico end up on a Broadway stage. Right. And we understand that. So, like, when mom comes in or, like, our newest little baby, I have a new son who's eight. <laughs> Jordan, he's adorable. He's going on tour as well. He's like tiny. He looks like Eddie when Eddie was that small. Um, and can just dance and dance and dance. And his family came and like his grandmothers were here and it's just like we get it. We understand the sense of pride and we understand how big of a deal it is for them. So it's fun. I mean, it's also always kind of a party. We call it party con a, ter a term I believe that was coined backstage in the Heights. So it's like you're partying and you're also getting paid to, to do so, which um, is crazy. So I'm looking at the comments. A lot of Ooh. people love you. Oh, and, uh, thanks. First of all, can I just say I really enjoy you on social media. Oh, thanks. I'm, I'm, I'm such a nerd. All, you're doing a really good job of documenting. Uh, you're, there's a fly flying around. It's so oh, random. Oh, name it Alphaba. I'll catch it. Uh, uh, yeah, so uh, do, you, do you enjoy that? Do you like connecting to the fans? What's it been like getting to yeah. know the fans and sort of experiencing well, the Broadway thing? I'm going to be completely honest with you. I try not to use the word fans just because it's so, str like, I mean, I can't just, I can't use it. Like, I can't be like, no, thank you to the fans. I love the fans. <laughs> like, I can't. Like, I see it more as, like, you guys love the show. And by way of that, I love you because I love the show, too. And so it's kind of like, it makes it a little more of an equal playing field. Um, but it's a huge, it's very humbling. And it's, like, it's surreal to be walking down the street. The other day, I was, like, with my boyfriend walking down the street. And, like, someone just is, like, I'm sorry, are you going to find me? I'm, like, I'm in the middle of something. <laughs> like, <laughs> and, like, things like that that are yeah. just not normal. Uh -huh. um, but I, of course, I like connecting to them. It's, it's, it also makes me human. And that's the thing about performing arts. Like, we're all human beings. And, mm -hmm. and you get to see yourself up there and, like, relate to that. And so I'm just being myself and being a dork and putting it out there for the world to see. Because what other option do I have now? I'm a public figure. So it's like, right. might as well do exactly what I would do if I were just talking to my friends and family and just open that up a little bit more. If you could steal one costume from on your feet, what would you, which one would you steal? Question. Uh, oh, don't look at my nails. I need to do my nails. Um, uh, <laughs> God, probably the chaps. Yeah. I mean, it's tough, but the chaps. Amen. It's a toss up because, like, she goes through so much. I play her from 17 to 33. So, like, there's all these different stages of life. Yeah. And, like, it's a toss up between, like, the chaps and the white bustier and, like, that leather jacket versus. The little girl tradition outfit mm. with that big skirt that makes me feel right. like I'm a Disney princess. Because, right, right, right. I mean, let's be honest, everybody wants to be a Disney princess. If you stole the chaps, would you wear them out ever? <laughs> would, would, could I get you to like go out in the chaps and the white With you? Person? Yeah, for, yes, oh, for of me. course. Oh, for me. We're going. All right, all right, We're, right for I'm me. done. That's, all right, I want the chaps. That's very easy. <laughs> <laughs> that was an easy sell. You know me better than that. Okay, so let's talk. Uh, there are a lot of questions. Elise wants to know so when is the show actually closing? August 20th. Okay, August 20th. So it's like final countdown. How many weeks? Uh, this is four weeks. Yeah. Okay. So you, if you haven't seen it, by the way, you have to see it, and you have to see Anna. She's fantastic. Thank you. Uh, uh, Elise wants to know: Do you think you'll take a break after the show closes, or would you want to take on a new role right away? Um, it's tough. I'm actually in the middle of that decision right now. So if my agent is watching, I am. I apologize. Hello, I'm not sure. <laughs> I don't know. Um, it's tough. I definitely want to take a break. I need to take some. I haven't taken a vacation. Yeah. In all of this time. You deserve a vacation. So I think, I, so I am. I am going okay, good. on vacation. Fabulous. Um, but, but I also am ready to sink my teeth into something else. So I'm reading scripts right now. I'm making some decisions. And there, there's one project that I'm going to be doing for sure that I can't speak about. Cool. And then there are two that I'm kind of still 
You should have brought all the scripts. I, I would have chosen the right script for yeah. you. Just bring eeny, all the meeny, scripts meeny, next time. Yeah. Next and then time, I'll, we'll I will. Just, we'll, just, we'll just pick one. I will. We'll do it all so together easy. live. Well, next time. With the agent watching. <laughs> yes. Perfect. <laughs> Absolutely. That's not reckless at all. It's just my future. Uh, Peyton, what's your favorite type of tea? You a big fan of tea? I am. I like the, the David's Tea, the Forever Nuts mm -hmm. um, okay. from David's Tea. It's really, it's really bougie. It's really cute. But it's, it tastes... Okay. I hope you guys understand this. Um, what was her name? Uh, uh, it's Peyton. Peyton. I think it's a man. Peyton. Maybe? I hope you understand this. It, the tea tastes how like when, you're, when it's cold and you're walking down the street and the Nuts for Nuts stand that <laughs> smell really good. Okay, Nuts for Nuts. It will kill any diet. But it smells so good. Yes, yes. But the tea tastes like that The tea smell. tastes like that? What? You're I welcome. I gotta get that stuff. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Ethan wants to know, what do you do before the show? Now, uh, you might want to watch, we did a, a wonderful a character study video. We did, with yes. You, which is a really which fun I love. video. Which I dig back into the archives a little bit. <laughs> but, but tell everyone, what do you do before the show? I mean, I get to the theater anywhere from an hour and a half to two hours before. Um, before the show, so as long as I go to the gym during the day or before getting to the theater, we're good. Um, just to warm up my body, I have to warm up my body before I warm up my voice, then I get to the theater, I say hi to everybody because we are Latin. We say hi to each other, by the way, every day as if we haven't seen each other in months. We literally saw each other 10 hours ago and we're right. like, hi, how are you? How's everything? And it's yeah. like you're having a five minute catching up conversation. Right. Whatever, so we do that, uh -huh. um, and then I I stretch, I warm up my voice, I brush my teeth like six times. <laughs> um, <laughs> you never know. Um, brush my teeth a lot. I I they so my dresser Sarah, who's my life, she makes tea, and then I just sit around and gossip while Michael does my hair and I put my makeup on. I didn't know that people do their own makeup on Broadway when I came into this. Right. Because coming from film and TV, yes, it's like, right, yeah. I expected to just get there. Right, just lay back. And and I, and then when the makeup artist, I'll never forget when our, our, our designer came in and was like teaching me how to do the Gloria makeup. I was like, well, why are you teaching me this? Like, just that's, the backup That's plan. so fun nope, for you. you're doing you. it every night. No, and yeah, <laughs> and so I've had to like really learn. Uh -huh. And like the people at Sephora know me, so that takes a minute. <laughs> um, and then at five minutes, we, we circle up and we kind of like, take a minute as a cast and take a deep breath and get centered and then uh, then we do a little musical. That fantastic <laughs> musical. So Will put um, eight heart emojis and oh. then said, you're great. I just wanted to share that. Thanks, Will. Uh, and Aaron said, I'm trying so hard not to happy cry because you're here. People, oh. really, people really like you. Uh, Abigail wants to know, do you have any advice for aspiring actors? I do. Um, don't rely on the external. Like, don't rely on just looking a certain way, on impressions. Um, you need to do your homework. You need to back it up. You need to have the skills. I mean, I went to music school and I didn't understand why I would ever need to read sheet music or to to actually understand music or um, that language. And 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 then eventually, then when you're in the working world, you you can separate the men from the boys and you can see who actually can do the job versus mm -hmm. who's just there to put on the pants or to put on the wig or to put on whatever it may be. So so that for sure and also to be a good person because it's a it's a it's a an industry about relationships and if you're that girl or guy with that bad reputation, no matter how no, you can you can point your foot as cute, you can have all the technique right. in the world, but if someone doesn't want to work with you because you're like an a-hole, you're then bye. So true. <laughs> so true. That's great advice. Uh, Bradley wants to know, do you have a dream role or a role you would most like to revisit? I mean, I have a whole list of roles I want to see you do. Uh, but, dream but. roles. Well, dream roles, uh, Evita. Evita. Are you excited about Mandy particular? Yes, yes, yes. That's exactly what we were talking yeah, about yes, before yes, actually going yes. on there. Mandy, yes. Of course. So, yeah. so Evita. Uh -huh. um, uh, Mary Magdalene in Jesus Christ Superstar. Mm -hmm. um, uh, oh, my God. Mama Rose. These are like Evita. Oh, I love yes. that. Yes. Uh, Mama Rose. I'm the narrator in Joseph because uh -huh. that was my first show right. when yep. I was a kid. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of Andrew Lloyd Webber. You're a big Andrew Lloyd Webber fan. <laughs> yes. You are a big Andrew Lloyd yes, like, yes, like I am. Me and my dad are huge Andrew Lloyd Webber fans. Um, who I met at the White House. Who can say that? ALW? Like, ALW. Yeah. I met him at the White at House. At the White House. Yeah. As not, you do. Not bad. As I was not, not mad at that. Anyway, uh, um, those are three. Those are top those are, four. Those are like, top yeah, those are good ones. Yeah. Uh, Abigail wants to know, who's the funniest cast member at On Your Feet? God, um, it, there are different kinds of humor. <laughs> there's like dark humor, and then there's just humor, humor. I would have to say my best friend Henry Gainza, 
Um, he's my, I call him my Broadway boyfriend because we actually met doing regional theater in Miami when I was a child. Oh, wow. And he was an adult. And I had a huge crush on, it, on him, and I didn't understand why he didn't just like crush on me back. But there were many, many reasons. <laughs> Have you figured it out? Yes. <laughs> uh, and now we're best friends, and I call him my Broadway boyfriend. He can sing to like the gods, but he's hysterical. Uh -huh. And so um, I would say him for sure. Him and Carlos Gonzalez, the Wajitos on Broadway. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're very Cuban, very like just zingers all over the place, sarcastic. I like that. Benjamin saw the show t a year ago tomorrow on his 18th birthday last summer. So happy 19th happy birthday Happy 19th tomorrow. birthday tomorrow. Yes, By you know, way, 19 uh, things. Said, you're an angel. Thank you for inspiring me. Oh, inspiring me and everyone. That's thank wonderful. You. Uh, people really like you. I mean, like, Thanks. I like you too, but people, it's really caught on. <laughs> people really like you. <laughs> well, thanks. I like you back. What do you do on your day off? It, that depends. I mean, days off are off because when you only have one day off a week, I'm sure all of Broadway would agree that it's a little crazy to like jam it all into one day. But this past day off was great. I went to the gym forever. I walked my dog and played with him for a little while. I took a nap and then I went to dinner with my new Emilio. We went to a Mexican restaurant because it was National Mauricio Tequila Day. Mauricio Martinez Mauricio. of Mexico. Yes, we went to a Mexican restaurant because it was National Tequila Day. Okay. And he was teaching me how to drink tequila. I mean, that wasn't planned. Do you not know how to drink tequila? What did he it's teach just you? It's not really been like my thing. Uh huh. I just bad experiences, you know. So okay. uh, <laughs> well, tequila, yeah, tequila is dangerous. Tequila it is a dangerous, dangerous. thing. Okay. Be careful, children. Um, <laughs> so anyway, but from a from a from a skilled, you know, I felt like it, it made sense, and yeah. we had made this plan to go to dinner long before knowing that it was a social media phenomenon. This <laughs> National Tequila Day. But I woke up that morning. I was like Mauricio. It's National Tequila Day. This is perfect. <laughs> and so we went to dinner. So like things like that, like you know, being able to have a, some kind of a life because you're working at night, you're working long hours, and and it's not like you can just switch your day and you know have fun during the day. You still need to be very careful with your body, with your voice, with your mind. I mean, for me, the the show takes out so much emotionally that I really need to stay focused and disciplined at all times. Mm -hmm. And so, um, thankfully, now I can like take more liberties and like mm -hmm. have an equity one once in a while like on a brunch yeah. on a Sunday or if like the family's in town kind of go for lunch but but most of the time it's like I, I, I'm in work mode when I'm in work mode I'm in work mode and when I'm not I'm very clearly not so. mm -hmm. I saw uh, on Instagram you and Mauricio I probably after the tequilas were very angry at a, a photo, photo booth. booth yeah you were very yeah, angry at a photo it took booth. a minute to figure Apparently that it out didn't work well, the photo it booth. didn't it didn't but it's fine and in fact my credit card was lost and so yes and today he comes into my dressing room he's like I know where it is I'm like where is it and he's like it's in your pocket because you paid for you paid for the you kept on paying for the photo booth with your credit card and you put it in your pocket so check the jeans you were wearing have you and done so, that yet no I'm gonna go home well, after this let's all hope that the I credit card is Instagram. in the jeans <laughs> yeah, wow National Tequila Day really screws things up yeah two days of only seamless <laughs> I, for the last 48 hours I've only ordered seamless because I haven't had money because it's already in the account I had like 20 right. dollars on me and oh so my god you could have called me I would have hooked you up it's fine I would have bought you lunch uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, there's so much that people just have so many questions, but you know what? We're, we're, we, I mean, we can't keep you here forever. She has another show to do. I do. She, she finished the matinee, which was fantastic, I'm sure. It was. It was amazing. It uh -huh. was filled. It was to the brim. To the brim. To the brim. And there's an evening As performance. One does. And the show is running through August, August 20th. 20th at the Marquee yes. Theater. Oh my God, you guys have to see Anna play Gloria Estefan. And I can't wait to see what it's you do dream. next. Thanks. I'm really excited. You are a fantastic talent. I love you. And I'm excited to see you do different things and yes. really like sort of see see what's going to happen. All the things. I'm so into it. Thank you. I'm so into it too. I so love you. So thank you guys for watching. And we'll be back tomorrow with another amazing guest at 5 o'clock. Bye.